Take our national anthem. There is a mention called as Dravidian word. Yeah, there is no proof for that. Like we follow Dravidian's culture here. Yeah, I think he, may, he will not be aware of all the culture. Most probably our governor has not worked properly. I feel right, like that. From my side, actually, I am saying that it is wrong. I uh, think he should maybe research more on the topic before giving his opinion on anything. Uh, people might converse in English or any other language. How they feel about themselves, how they unite together when they say Tamil. That's what the whole Dravidian means. Hello, One India Tamil viewers. Uh, Tamil Nadu Governor R. N. Ravi often makes controversial statements wherever he speaks in a public meeting. Likewise, recently he has made a statement uh, uh, sta uh, stating that there is no Dravidian race at all. Uh, so let us ask the public what's their opinion on this. So about uh, our governor's opinion, I think there is something called as a Dravidian race. Uh, if people are believing in an Aryan race, then there, we can also believe in Dravidian race. Uh, I think uh, he, I think the government, I think the government, uh, governor has to change some, uh, some of his uh, uh, regulations and uh, and the aspects of uh, of non bra I mean non, I mean the Dravidian uh, uh, about the Dravidians. I think he has to gain a lot of knowledge about that. Uh, Thing. Yeah, there is no proof for that, right? We follow Dravidian's culture here, and all the political parties also follow the Dravidian's culture here. So there's no, there's actually no proof what he says. Obviously, it's so wrong, and he should not repeat it again. The further action should be taken from our CMC. I get his point of view saying that uh, he says that there is no Dravidian culture or a race. That's mainly because of the diversities and all the social distribution which uh, uh, Tamil Nadu people have been going through. All the new inclusiveness, uh, mainly the social selections, the sexual orientations have gone. But uh, I'd say people will unite together when it comes to one thing which is called the uh, feeling of being a Tamil person. That's the whole point of being a Dravidian. From my side, actually, I'm saying that it is wrong for, because uh, our South Indians are like we only like uh, created like South Indians are actually Indians. Like uh, we 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 Dravidians are more important in Tamil Nadu, in India, and all over India. We we started that here like somewhat good culture in uh, India. Okay, so what see what he is saying is totally wrong. From my side, it's wrong. Uh, I think since uh, Tamil Nadu was Madras. Um, We've been called Dravidians. So, and Anna was CM and then MGR and Jalalita and all. So, I think he should maybe research more on the topic before giving his opinion on anything. Our government's like 60 years to 70 years political party group, that, that is another proof for the Dravidian race. And there are many other, you know, even we can just say, take our national anthem, and there is a mention called as Dravidian word. Even if he believing that in our nation, if he believing in our national anthem, then he is also believing there is something called as Dravidian race. So if he is not believing in Dravidian race, then he shouldn't sing national anthem anywhere. He's a governor, right? He should put that rule also that no one should sing national anthem. From high court, from high court to Supreme Court, everyone has followed the same rules, where every results and judgment based on the same part. So well, he said like uh, every political parties have the same thing. So, if said it's no, and makes a big problem over Tamil Nadu. So, make sure it should not be repeated again. As a governor, he must be aware of all our people's culture and about our Dravidian uh, culture. He, I think he, may, he will not be aware of all the culture. So, some strict action should be taken on him. We request all our political members and uh, newspapers and press should ensure that it should not be repeated and make a proper rule around it. Even our governor. Uh, most probably our governor has not worked properly, I feel right like that. Because our opposite party, yeah. even our ruling party, are trying to meet them, but no proper commitments, any proper news regarding it. I feel uh, it's not good for our Tamil Nadu. Uh, even though uh, people might converse in English or any other language, how they feel about themselves, how they unite together when they say Tamil, that's what the whole Dravidian means. It's very ambiguous. So, unless and until you know very much of something, you should not give your opinion on that. And uh, some of us classify ourselves as Dravidians. And the major ruling parties for the last 50 years have been the, you know, yeah. So, I think maybe he should research more on the topic.
necessarily might not include any you know following or practices or any cultures or traditions it's just the way uh, people feel when they talk about the tamil language the tradition the ancestry that's all that is the language that we speak we asked the public uh, what's the opinion on uh, the statement recently made by uh, tamil nadu governor r n ravi uh, there most of the people uh, said that uh, the uh, statement made by r n ravi was not uh, correct and he has to make a research on this before whatever he speaks 